Last week, the city of Tyler sent out a letter to all their residents about a water violation that occurred back in May. And today, Tyler Mayor Martin Hines held a press conference to address some issues. Fox 51's Kara Pritchard spoke with a woman who's concerned because she says her water is blue. She joins us now with the details. Kara? Yeah, that's right, Jessica. Tyler resident Sharon Scott also went to the press conference today to voice her concerns. This afternoon, I went out to her house to see what's really going on with her water. Tyler resident Sharon Scott says since the spring, her water has been leaving behind a blue residue in her sinks and shower. At first, I thought it was just me spraying, uh, cleaning in my bathrooms, and it was, you know, left over from the cleaner. But my then I realized my cleaner is purple, so it couldn't have been my cleaner that was causing the problem or causing the blue. She says it got worse over time, even after cleaning. And the city has came out. The first time I went down there to tell them that I had blue water. The city conducted a free chlorine conversion. She says they told her that would help. I waited another couple of weeks or so to see if it was going to clear up or get better, and it continued to stay blue. Based on the results that we've seen, this appears to be an aesthetics issue and not a water quality issue. City officials have always said the water was safe. But Ms. Scott says she's not convinced. Maybe when I stop seeing a residual, then I get a better understanding that, okay, it's great, it's safe, there's nothing wrong with my water. But as long as I see something, I have to believe that something is wrong with it. We asked Morgan for a simple explanation to understand what process the water goes through to be deemed safe. He told us this. It's a very, it's a very complicated process, and we have a very knowledgeable and professional staff that does an excellent job of providing high-quality water to our customers. The city announced Wednesday they're hiring a third-party expert to evaluate their facilities and the protocol of the water department. Whether they figure it out or someone else figures it out, it doesn't really matter to me. Just as long as I can get the blue stopped. And Ms. Scott's next door neighbor is experiencing the same blue residue problem. The selected firm will begin the review on November 9th and its assessment is expected to take two weeks. We'll keep you updated as information unfolds. Reporting live in the studio, Kara Pritchard, Fox 51 News, East Texas. Thank you, Kara.